Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while since I've uploaded anything new, but I've been extremely busy the last few months. Life has been really crazy, so um, I'm sure you're all feeling it in some way, shape, or form as well in your lives. Um, but yes, but I'm back. Uh, here we are, and welcome. So today I wanted to do a reading on what blessings are coming in for you. So we do have three piles in front of us. We have pile one, we have pile two, and pile three. It's also for pile one, this is going to be the IC little bebop here. This is for your third eye. For pile two, we have I know, which would be your crown chakra. And then for pile three, we have I feel, which would be your sacral chakra. So feel free to pause the video if you need to give yourself some more time and I will see you in your pile or piles. Bye. Welcome my lovely pile ones. This is the pile with the I see bebop here, which is your third eye chakra. So maybe one of the blessings coming in for you is a third eye activation, a stronger activation, maybe uh, learning about different gifts that you are um, receiving here, harnessing your gifts, strengthening your gifts. This could also be maybe your intuition is confirming something for you or your a blessing that's coming in is something that you felt like a, a nagging feeling about is being confirmed for you, which is a blessing. So let's go ahead and dive into your cards here and see what we have. Maybe we'll leave this right here. I think that looks cute. <clears throat> So, we're going to be starting off with the top. We have faith. Quite interesting, actually. I mean, this... Well, I guess this would be your crown chakra. This would be purple. So, maybe some of you might be connected to pile two, uh, since that is the crown chakra bebop. But, um, let's keep going before I say any more. Um, but this right here actually is almost a conf confirmation about having your faith be restored in um, some kind of an answer that you've received. It, this was something that you intuitively knew already, but um, you're getting your answer and your faith is restored this could be within yourself or within your gifts here or something that you knew was coming, like you held the faith for it, that it was coming, and it actually came to fruition for some of you here. Um, we have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory of, at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Quite interesting here. Yeah, like hidden depths. This is something something that you have always known deep within you here. Um whatever this this feeling is for you, it is a a positive blessing here and whatever it is, I feel like it's coming forward for you. It's coming to light here. We have Sagittarius expand with the number nine here. Some of you could be a Sagittarius or have a very prominent Sagittarius placement in your chart or ninth house. Um, also, maybe the month of September might be important for when this blessing fully uh, manifests here or fully expands for you because Sagittarius are about expansion, travel, 
knowledge, wisdom here, transformation. It's quite beautiful energy here. We also have homeward. Take yourself out on a date. Okay. I love that. Huh. It looks like this little birdie is like giving her a message here in this card. I feel like for some of you, taking yourself out on a date or out in nature or somewhere that really activates your soul might um, recharge your faith in this blessing that's coming in for you or that's about to come forward for you. We have curiosity. How am I going to line these up? We have curiosity. The journey. The whisper. Okay. Yeah, some of you, again with this I here. For me, this feels like intuitively you saw whatever this blessing is that's coming in for you in your mind's eye before it came to be about. Maybe that's what inspired you to really go deep here. But it's like there's this brand new door opening for you and this is something that you have heard from your spirit team, your spirit guides here, something that you've seen in your mind's eye. Whatever this journey is for you, it is very blessed here. I feel like it's going to expand you in so many ways. Let's keep going. Um, I have three more of these, actually. Abundance. Wow. Breakthrough. You are what you think. Yeah. Something big is about to occur for you. Pile one here. This is really beautiful energy. Hold on one second. Sorry, my I got my dog in here. But this, this reading is so beautiful, pile one. Something that you've been working on, something that you've been so dedicated towards, some sort of a message from your spirit team, your spirit guides have led you to this, and this breakthrough that you are looking for is about to come in for you. You're going to, whatever it is that you're working on is going to grow and expand and exponentially. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, pile one. Okay, so we got two more. I believe these are the um, Angels of Abundance cards. So let's see what we have. We have block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electric electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Okay. We also have dreams of abundance. Oh my gosh, abundance again. It says, as you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insight that will help you manifest your desires into reality. Wow, this is beautiful, the way this all lined up here. I feel like if you haven't received this... Uh, whisper or this idea from your spirit team it's about to come in and it's going to be a big blessing for you here um, this is something I feel like most of you have already had that that nagging feeling or that urge to uh, walk down this path here um, because you're you're curious about it 
And spirit saying that you need to continue to work on it here. Block out any of these distractions because your dream is about to manifest here. I feel like for some of you, um, if you do end up taking yourself out on this date here, you're going to meet somebody important um, that is key. That's key for this journey here. Whatever this is for you. Well, hopefully you enjoyed your reading, Pile 1. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know how it resonated, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, Pile 1. Hello, my beautiful Pile number 2s. This is the crown chakra pile with I know. Maybe a lot of you are going through a major crown chakra activation at this time. Maybe a lot of you are deepening your connection with consciousness and Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, Source. I feel like There's a blessing that's going to come in that you feel in your bones here. That's how it feels like to me. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. We have mystery. Hmm. Mystery. Maybe some of you are Scorpios or have Scorpio in your chart. Oop. We have purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Okay, so for some of you, you're going to be finding out, uh, finding out an answer to a perplexing problem in your life. Something that um, seems bigger than what it really is. For some of you, this answer might come through in the form of a spirit guide, or this could be like something that just ends up clicking with you, and you're like, okay, now I understand. But this is like a message from the divine here. We have card number 51, Alliance, which is conjunction. We have card number 30, Castle. It's time for healing, not war. Interesting here. Okay, so pile number two, if there's something that's been perplexing you or bothering you here, you're going to figure out a way to make things work for you and the situation as a whole here. I feel like things are going to align easier and better for you than you are imagining at this time whatever this is I feel like another blessing for you pile two is that you're gonna come through a period of major healing uh, this could be healing physically emotionally spiritually or all of the above here we have cosmic flow beautiful release inner child yeah pile number two a lot of you are going to have a major purge and release coming through and it, I feel like it's related to this it's time for healing not war here I feel like this energy, even for some of you, Pile 2, could be like um, something that you're struggling with emotionally, but only take that if it resonates here. But I feel like you're coming into a beautiful balance with yourself here, and it's like you're learning to flow with your inner child, and you're allowing a lot of these beautiful creative ideas to be able to flow outwardly. It's like you're not... Uh, fighting against it here you're working with uh, your inner child here to really um, create this beautiful cosmic flow of energy that you're in here 
I feel like a lot of you I'm hearing are going through some sort of like a kundalini awake kundalini awakening right now. Um, this is said to be found at the base of your spine here. It's like the coil unfurls. It's like the kundalini rising. Uh, definitely check it out if you don't uh, know about it here. Wow, that could also relate to like the crown chakra here. It's like your your like chakras are being activated from the very very root, possibly even the earth star all the way up to your soul star here. It's like a lot of you pile two are receiving this blessing of um, like purification here. It's like you're purifying yourself and your energetic body, your auric body here. I feel like it's also creating, um, it's like um, an energetic pull from people. Like people are energetically pulled to you at this time or very soon here. It's like people are like spotting you out in a crowd too here. It's almost like your energy is beaming so bright it's hard not to notice you is what I'm feeling here. A lot of you too might be um, going through um, some sort of like a solar plexus activation as well. And wow, this if you really look at this card, it's like the inner child, but it reminds me, like look at this crown chakra. It's just beaming with so much beauty here. And purple crown chakra too. Uh, we also have, wow, release again, shake release heal and move on yeah a lot of you pile two are really letting something go and it's going to be this beautiful energetic release and blessing for you here opportunity so we have card number 27 and card number 16 Again, um, it's like there's going to be a big opportunity that's going to be knocking on your door very soon, Pile 2. If you haven't already received this opportunity, this is going to be coming in for you. This could be in the form of love, work, um, gifts, finances, I, you know, you name it. Whatever this opportunity is for you, fill in the blank. Um, it's going to come in and I feel like this is something that you've wanted to. We have surrender to receive. Yeah, it's like you're really not fighting against your, uh, your energies anymore is what it feels like. It's like you're surrendering things and energies and situations that are old, heavy, things that don't fit with you anymore here. And it's really causing this gorgeous kundalini awakening here for you, this beautiful energy, and it's bringing in a golden opportunity for you as well. So these are the last two cards we have. I believe they are the uh, Angels of Abundance cards. It says, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high energy is to have very high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes your own reward interesting so right away um, i'm hearing that spirit really wants you to uh, start moving your body, get out in physical, um, in the physical world or get, get physical or, um, not in like a, like a violent way, but like get physical with your body, I guess is what I should have said. Um, because that'll help break off the, um, remaining remnants of this old energy here that's hanging on to you here. So as soon as you get it moving here, that'll help push, through the rest of um, this stuff, old muck that you are carrying. Um, but yes, just uh, move your physical body is really what um, will help you. Okay, 
And then we have employment change. It says your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. Beautiful. Again, we have this horse, but we can call it a unicorn, right? I feel like a lot of you, it almost looks like the same girl here too. Um, some of you might be a horse in shiny zodiac or some of you might um, have fairy energy or fae energy. Uh, some of you uh, might even have like a unicorn as part of your spirit animal team here, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, this is really beautiful energy here. I feel like a lot of you are rain rainbow babies or have a rainbow aura here. Um, but yes, again, with this employment change, that might be what this opportunity is linked to. If any of you have recently went on a job interview, um, I believe that you will end up uh, being selected for that position, especially with this employment change and this opportunity here. So the best of luck to you, my lovely pile twos. And hopefully you enjoyed your reading and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye, Pile 2. Hello, my lovely Pile 3s. If you chose ooh, the I Feel Bebop Chakra for the solar plex, or the sacral, sacral, I was going to call it a sacral plexus. Sorry, you guys, in my defense, it is Mercury retrograde. Um, okay, but anyways, so if you chose the sacral chakra bebop, I feel this is your pile. Sorry, that was such a tongue twister for me. Um, anyways, okay, let's go ahead and dive right in here. So we are starting off with rest. Ooh, look at all these greens here. Some of you might be healing your heart chakra here, tapping into your heart chakra and your sacral chakra here, um, really rejuvenating yourself, resting here, uh, eating good greens and nourishing your body is what I'm feeling like. So this card says light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Okay, so a lot of you at this time are being called to really rest and rejuvenate and recover here. Uh, some of you may have gone through something traumatic recently. Uh, and this could be on a small scale or a large scale. This could be something, a major shift that has occurred here in your life. And a lot of you are, uh, your spirit team and spirit guides want you to really rest, rejuvenate, uh, let your body do what it needs to. Listen to your body, I guess is what I'm saying. I feel like, wow, I'm so sorry. Um, so this little thing was slipping out of my hands when I first started this reading here. I wanted to flip upside down. So I feel like a lot of you are needing to really work on your sacral chakra here and your heart chakra. Those are the two chakras, maybe even your root chakra, depending on really what um, has occurred here in your situation. I feel like some of you might be neglecting your feelings and maybe your heart center here. Uh, if that doesn't resonate, please don't take it. But some of you are really needing to rest and recover to heal your body, your, heal your chakras, heal your emotions here. Let yourself feel whatever it is that you need to here and really listen to your body when it needs to rest. We have card number seven, Libra Balance. So spirit is really wanting you to <clears throat> balance out the things that you're doing in your life here, especially if some of you are overworking. 
Spirit's really wanting you to really rest and don't ignore your heart chakra here or your sacral chakra. Really get, get yourself in a good balance here. And also this could be some, that this, the energy that I'm, that I'm feeling right now could be past energy. Some of you could already be in the next phase to where you're already in this mode of nourishing your body and, you know, getting the rest that you need, balancing out your schedule, your work, your play life, um, even balancing out your emotions, especially if something has really, um, heavy that has occurred in your life, um, we have card number 14, Thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. I feel like a lot of you are being blessed with a lot of support around you here. This could be family. This could be uh, daughters, sisters, aunts. Uh, this could even be, I mean, it doesn't have to be females here, but I feel like you have a lot of female support around you. I feel like I feel like the people around you are really supporting you and they're helping give you your strength back, helping you find your healing here. I'm really being called to check out the spiritual meeting of a rose, so one moment please. Okay, so I found a couple little meetings here that I will, I will read off. Sorry, I can't get that out of my tongue. Um, or cat's got my tongue. Shit. Uh, okay, so it says red roses mean passion and sacrifice. And then this other meaning below it, I feel like it resonates more to this. It says after overcoming difficulty, you will find inner harmony, union, and happiness. So... Maybe some of those resonate for you at this time here. Maybe something major has occurred in your life and spirit is really wanting you to know that you are being supported here and that good things will come after this situation here just to really remain in a balanced energy flow here. Um, so let's keep going. We have emotions. Wow. Emotions create. Look at all that green again. Keep going. Yeah, some of you are really channeling this situation that happened to you into something beautiful it's like you're you're continuing to see the sun shine here you're continuing to see the brighter side of the picture of the situation here and it's almost like you're understanding why things had to happen the way they did but you're using that energy as momentum to really create your future and it's it's like you've learned something through this process and you're continuing strong here but yeah I definitely feel like a blessing that's coming in for you is that a lot of you are really healing from whatever this uh, situation was for you we have perception, card number 21. We have the illusion, card number 13. Well, these are both about how you see things here. Yeah, a lot of you are really breaking through old thought patterns here. That is definitely a blessing that's coming in for you. It's like things felt so cloudy before, like you couldn't see what the future was going to look like. And all of a sudden, you know, this healing, this some time has gone by, some rest, recovery here, the support from your family, getting yourself back in balance. Some of you could even be a Libra here or have a prominent Libra placement, but that's just side note. Um, but... 
I feel like your perception is now shifting here when it comes to this matter. And it's like you don't have... It's like you're breaking through these old thought patterns here, right? And it's like you're sharpening up how, like how you want your life to look, like how you want to create your life now moving forward here. And this doesn't feel like an easy process. So whatever has happened for you, I'm sending you so much love, so much healing here. You can do this. Keep going. You got this. And if you do need to cry, let yourself cry, pile three. Crying is usually what happens when my body releases energy. Sometimes I laugh, but, you know, it really just depends on the situation. Um, but, yeah, you're having a major perception breakthrough here. It's like whatever old illusions or paradigms that you were living on are now breaking down. They're now breaking down here and it's like you're, the world is your oyster here. It's like, it's like you're creating things on the fly here. You know, nothing's holding you back anymore, pile three. You know, okay, let's keep going. We have no expectations with this key here. Card number 22. You might be seeing a lot of twos. Twos also are a master number. Two, 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 two is a master number. Or two, two is a master number, but two, two, two in any combination, angel numbers, master numbers. But two, two is the master builder number is basically just what I wanted to say. <laughs> so again, with this idea of building your future here, it's like, it's like you're, at, like in the void creating this future and you're letting things happen and things it's like you're being guided through different doors and you know like it just feels like you've released so much darkness here and it's like you're walking through this new portal of light oh my gosh this portal of light I am so sorry, Pile 3. My dog is on the bed behind me, and I just hope that it's not hurting your ears once this video goes live, so I'm sorry in advance. Okay, let's keep going. So the last two cards we have are your Angels of Abundance cards here. So we have Savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus on your life purpose. Exactly. And look, at there's more green here too. It's like you're now in this energy of where you're like regrowing yourself here and your future and what you want. A lot of you could even be saving money right now or saving for the future that you, that is coming in for you or for the future that you want here. Okay, and then the last one we have is Sever Vows of Poverty. Okay, this is money related, I guess. It says, Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Yeah. So I feel like, too, um, with these messages here, it feels like once you create like a financial plan or a savings plan for yourself, start um, removing things that are really unnecessary, like, you know, monthly bills that come out for these little extra services, like, you know, 
if you really don't need them and if you want to save some money, you can cut corners that way. Start putting money aside from your checks. You know what I mean? I'm no financial advisor, but I feel like if some of you are struggling or, you know, having negative thoughts about finances or money here, like spirits saying, like save a little every day. And before you know it, it's like you're going to be sitting on a big wealth of cash. You know what I mean? You could even learn to invest your money in different things here. Um, but yeah, with all this green too, I feel like a lot of you might come into some money very soon here. Or some of you might be getting a new job or a raise. But I feel like, um, yeah, there's just so much green here. It just feels really abundant abundant energy alrighty my lovely pile threes hopefully you enjoyed your reading and if you did feel free to comment down below like share subscribe and I will catch you all on the next one bye pile three